Common acquired benign melanocytic nevus is a skin lesion composed of bland, benign, normal-looking melanocytes. Some melanocytic nevi are composed only um, of these junctional nests or junctional component. In that case, we call them junctional nevi. Sometimes we can see junctional component together with intradermal melanocytes, as in this case. So this is compound nevus. And in case we can identify only intradermal melanocytes, we call them intradermal nevi. This is not really clinically important. Much more important is not to miss uh, melanoma or some other uh, malignant lesion. A benign melanocytic nevi is uh, typically symmetric and well circumscribed, which we can see uh, on the low magnification. So if we compare the left side of the lesion with the right side of the lesion, they are approximately more or less uh, similar. So this is symmetric. If we look at the lateral part of the lesion, we should find the clear border in between the epidermis and the nevus. Typically, we should see lateral junctional nest in the periphery of the lesion. Uh, junctional melanocytes should be localized in the basal parts of the epidermis and no single melanocytes or atypical melanocytes are found in the upper portion of the epidermis. That would be called pagetoid spreading or scatter and that is a sign of uh, uh, malignancy or one of the sign uh, one of the signs of the malignancy because uh, you cannot never rely on the single morphological sign if you want to differentiate the nevus from the melanoma. So if we go closer, we can see the single melanocytes in the basal parts of the epidermis and also these junctional uh, melanocytic nests. Melanocytes are these larger cells with a clear halo around the nucleus and cytoplasm and a quite useful morphological sign that helps us differentiate uh, melanocytes from the keratinocytes is that the cytoplasm is stuck to the nucleus. However, in some keratinocytes, like here, for example, the halo is part of the cytoplasm. That's because melanocytes uh, do not have dysmosomes. And that enables uh, shrinking of the cytoplasm uh, during tissue processing. The dermal melanocytes are quite uniform without atypical features and uh, without mitotic activity. Sometimes we can see one or two mitotic figures here and there, but they shouldn't be found um, in the deeper portion of the dermal component. If we can find the mitotic figure here, for example, we need to be very careful and we need to uh, look at the lesion very carefully. If the dermal component is larger and more prominent, uh, we should typically see maturation of the melanocytes, which means that uh, the melanocytes in the deeper portion of the dermis should be smaller than the melanocytes in the upper portion of the dermis. There is no chronic inflammation, no lamellar fibrosis of the papillar dermis, no fusion of the junctional nests. So this is um, classical benign melanocytic compound nevus. Some of these lesions can be heavily pigmented. However, the pigmentation should be dispersed and uh, symmetric. So this is benign compound nevus. Thanks for watching.